In this lesson, we'll talk about intermediate tooling, and specifically this collet chuck. So step number one is the setup of the part file. We're going to select a lathe MDD and set these numbers to zero for the main spindle. Step number two, import or draw your solid model and orient it in the XZ plane, just like you would see it in the lathe. And the back of the collet is where it touches the face of the spindle, and it should be at XZ zero. Then we have created a intermediate tooling menu, which has machine data, fixture library, and tool block library. Next, we have to make sure that the collet chuck or whatever item you are adding to the intermediate tooling library is the only solid model in this particular file. Then we go straight to fixture library. If the library does not exist, we will create it. But in this case, it does. This is an ATS collet chuck. And then select edit library. This ATS collet chuck currently is in the library. I'm going to remove it. And now that it's been removed, we can add it again and show you the steps that it takes to add this to the intermediate tooling library. You will see here that we have a pull down list and it will show all of the current chucks in the ATS library. And this one says ATS 3J collet chuck new. You don't need to select the solid model, but you do need to know what the length is. And in this case, it is 5.99. This will be useful in just a moment. Now click Add Fixture to Library. The macro runs automatically, so you can hands off for a few seconds. While Gibbscam adds this to the library, the next menu that will pop up will be the name of the collet chuck. We're going to define it as chuck and set the chuck width as 5.99. Close this menu and press refresh fixture. Again, the macro will run. And as soon as the macro is done, we can now check this intermediate tool and see if it is attached to your machine correctly. You can see it does say ATS 3J collet chuck. It says it's a chuck, and it does have the chuck width in it. Let's go to Machine Sim and look, and yes, it is positioned correctly on the front face of our lathe. This was a video on how to add a collet chuck to the Intermediate Tooling Library in Gibbscam. We do have one more item, though, that we need to help you with is if you go into machine sim and the collet head does not show up let's go to machine data select the machine data for the current MDD select edit and where it says chucks let's click on fixtures and make sure that ATS collet chucks is selected and main spindle is set to chuck and sub spindle is set to chuck. You may then save changes and if your collet did not show up earlier it will show up now. But let's see how to add this collet chuck to your lathe. We'll go to document control, intermediate tooling, and on the intermediate tooling, you will see that there is a pull down for turret or fixture. I'm going to remove this from the machine and we'll go back to the machine so that you can see when I rewind, the collet is gone. To add the collet from the intermediate tooling library, double click where it says main spindle and select it from the list. We have a number of chucks on this list, but I do want ATS 3J collet chuck. Press OK, and then when you force a redraw or a rewind, 
on the machine sim rendering, the collet will show up. 